Speaking at the conference, Minister of Solid Minerals, Dr. Kayode Fayemi, says the ministry is focused on tackling the challenges being faced as a result of the poor policy choices made in the past. The Association of Metal Exporters of Nigeria claims we can generate at least 5 trillion naira annually from mining and exporting of its vast solid mineral deposits with several multiplier effects on job creation, state development and social infrastructure that could position the solid mineral sector as the main catalyst for national development. On our part, the Minister of State, Industry and Investment, Aisha Abubakar, says mining has the potential of creating employment opportunities in the country. And with the programs put in place, the industry will grow remarkably over the next two decades. We still with cement, you know we've gone a long way in our cement and also with the aluminium industry. Um, this is something we're going to sustain. We're going to be encouraging investors to come into the space because there's a lot of, um, there's a lot of potential. And we're also going to be encouraging investors to come and tap the untapped potentials that we have in that particular sector. Other stakeholders highlight the importance of partnering with the private sector, saying if Nigeria enters into an agreement, the country is duty-bound to respect the agreement. Indeed, with the current global economic downturn and the sharp drop in crude oil prices, it has become imperative that we focus on areas of comparative advantage like agriculture and indeed solid minerals development. The Minister of Solid Minerals, Dr. Kayode Fayemi, emphasized at the conference the need to review the Ajaokuta Steel Company. The theme for this year's conference is connecting the global mining industry to the opportunities of the solid mineral sector in Nigeria.